Welcome to another installment of 5-Minute Tones. On today's video, we're going to take a look at an often overlooked and highly underrated high-gain amp model, the Cornfed M50. This is based on a Cornfed MK50 amplifier. Essentially, Cornfed became Victory amp. So if you're familiar with Victory, you probably know what to expect here. We'll hear it at the stock settings on my PRS DGT into my free LTTV Mix 7 Cab IR with a touch of London plate reverb. Then I'll swap to channel B where I've brought the master volume down to around two and bought the overall block level up just to compensate. On a lot of high gain amps, this usually helps tighten them up and it kind of improves the feel. Often it makes them a lot kind of bouncier or whatever adjective you want to use. But for now, let's check it out. <laughs> You don't hear a massive difference in the overall tone, but the feel is definitely different with the master volume low. So I'm going to roll with that. I have to admit, I really struggled with this amp model, and that's because on most amp models in here that have a gain and an overdrive, they tend to behave the same way where the gain, when you turn it down, gives you less distortion, but it makes the sound brighter and vice versa. Whereas the overdrive, uh, as you turn it down, you just get less gain. It doesn't really change the overall sonic spectrum that much. However, while I was mucking around with that, trying to kind of get a sound that I liked, I found that I could take the overdrive all the way down and I had a pretty nice crunch sound. <laughs> I've been thinking about it is like on a jumpered plexi. This is your bright channel volume. This is your normal channel volume. You can kind of blend them. I use the overdrive just to add a little bit of extra thickness in there, although it's already pretty thick. <laughs> This one takes a boost really well. You could use the built-in preamp boost. You all know I'm very partial to the CC boost. We'll give it uh, a lot of gain on there. Check this out. <laughs> I think I actually like more of a Tube Screamer based thing, say the Valve Screamer VS9 in the drive block drive quite low, level quite high, or the Horizon drive in there. I'll let you hear both of those side by side. Then we'll hear the same settings with a Vintage 30 cab IR in there. And that gives you more of like a modern metal thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
was going to sum up my one trick for using this amp model, it's lowering that overdrive control on there and just bringing it into taste again, kind of like a jumpered plexi on there. I have no idea if that was the intended use case, but to me, it really opens up the sound of the amp. If you liked where I started, I think it makes a great thick sounding amp for single note lead lines on there. So I might finish up by going back to the greenback cab over here. I'll add some delay. I've got a kind of ping pong delay preloaded in here. I'll bring the mix up on there and bring this overdrive control all the way up and bring the treble down. This gives you a super smooth lead. I hope you enjoyed today's installment of Five Minute Tones. Let me know your thoughts on this corn fed M50 amp model and how you like it. It's a different flavor of high gain to your typical boogie Soldano or Fryette style thing in here. I've really come around on this one. Let's have a listen to some single notes. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.